Hi everybody, welcome to our build of a sunken grotto. Why a sunken grotto? It is an exotic way to display a mysterious garden. Sunken six feet into the ground. Going down under the ground, we are surrounded by stone cliffs, dripping water, an underground stream, and lush tropical foliage. I found this foam rock a couple of years ago, manufactured by Universal Rock that allows a couple of people with no heavy equipment and no building experience to construct large zoo-like exhibits in only a couple of days. I would like to invite you back in time a couple weeks ago when we just started the construction of this. Let's take a look. I got these foam pieces from Universal Rock. This was part of their um, Caribbean Falls waterfall. And I asked him to turn it into a panel for me. This is gonna be beautiful. It has five um, holes in it for water to trickle down the front. I'm gonna plant it with all of my, um, my plants. I'm hoping to maybe have 100 species of plants in here. It's gonna look magnificent. It's gonna look spectacular. Maybe breathtaking, I don't know. So that piece there is gonna sit on the top. This piece is gonna be mounted to the cement wall. The water is gonna trickle down the top piece and it's going to continue to trickle down this piece. We have a pond that we dug here and we're going to recirculate it. These panels will be screwed together, foamed together, and then the foam will be trimmed and painted brown. Now that the main waterfall is in place, we can now work with the side panels. They are easily cut, dragged, and placed on the wall. All grottos must have a cave, so we are installing a pond and a cascading rock above. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one pump for everything. One inch, one inch valve. One black pipe over there. We must trim the wall panels so that each piece fits snugly together. This can be accomplished by either bending the panels into place as well as cutting them. You cut this so this can go right up against this. Okay, do it. There you go. Oh, perfect. Wait, that's perfect. That's perfect. This is perfect. So I'm thinking I drip water. I drip. I drip. I drip. Okay, so, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get plants to grow that I attach to the rocks. I want to place the plant where there's just a little bit of flow. If there's too much flow, it's going to wash it away. Then as I run the waterfall, it irrigates the plants. And it's, it's kind of um, a unique system. If I place the plant just right, I never need to water it. Just need to run the waterfall. This foam rock is very unique. The plants will actually root into the foam and you do not need any soil. Next, we hide all the pond liner with a mixture of foam rock and real rock. By mixing the two, it makes a more realistic presentation. Now, what do you wanna do first with the liner? You wanna roll the liner first? I'm okay, you wanna roll it? What's that? We got, I don't want to see no plastic. You cut the plastic or move. Yeah, I want this, this right here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're perfect, perfect, perfect. Beautiful. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You got it? No, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, uh, let's see. How about this one? How about this? Yeah, there you go, see, you can fold that under the best you can. Put it right, right on the edge there. You're right, I don't like it either. You can take it out here. Let's get plants. I want to put plants there. This grotto was built six feet into the ground and the okay. soil consists of compacted clay and sand down here. We are removing 12 inches of sand and replacing it with a rich guarding soil. Turn it, turn it so the good side is towards us. Right there? Yep. So we're gonna plant this. We're gonna plant this right here. We're gonna plant this right here. 
and then we're gonna plant those two red ones there and there. We have planted Cordyline Sunny Matthews in the back, Philodendron Tortum in the foreground, Aglaonema Lucky Red to the left, and Maidenhair Fern on the right. Here you go, Caesar. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh, don't. A beautiful, super curved Australian tree fern. We're gonna plant in the wall. Okay. Yes. In the where? In the wall. We're gonna plant it in the wall. You're gonna cut a hole in the wall and insert this. <laughs> All right. Hey, look. Got your drill bit. This is what we're gonna do. You just make a hole the size like this. Then I want you to cut. All right. I want you to cut like this in in here, so they don't see it. Then we're gonna take it and bend it. Then you're gonna come behind, we're gonna put the tree fern here, and it's gonna stick through here, and you pull this, you pull this back together and shoot a screw. Fine. Okay. Okay? Fine. I'll do it. Okay. Let's do a, a practice one first. Let's do this one first. This little easier. Maybe you make me a hole right here. And I'm just gonna take this and insert it in the wall. I'm, I'm creating the sunken grotto here, and my expertise is the live plants. It's not really, I'm a great grotto builder. I'm, I'm certainly not. This is the first grotto I've ever built. You hit a pipe? You hit the pipe. <laughs> okay, go. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. Figure there's two pipes or three pipes in the back wall, and we hit it. It's beautiful, beautiful rock, and I'm just trying to add a little bit of plant material to it to lighten it up with spectacular plants, with, all, with super curved Australian tree ferns, and these um, elkhorn, fer okay. these elkhorn okay. ferns that I got on these dead oak stumps. It's harder and harder to find Australian tree ferns, but to find Australian tree ferns with such super curved character, very difficult. Wait, 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 stay there. No, it's good. It's, 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 I'm okay. Okay, now come up here. Come up here and you cut right along the seam. Up to the top. Oh, yep. Here, look, 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 look. You're gonna come right like this, right? Yeah. Okay. When I built this grotto, I had to choose what to use for covering, and I decided to go with clear plastic. I could have went with clear plastic, which is 94% um, transparent, or I could have went with white plastic, which is 50% transparent. That ceiling up there is 25 feet up in the sky, and I'm hoping to get enough um, coverage so I can get plants that enjoy the full sun growing up above, and I can get the understory stuff here. This here is the south side. Okay. So I'm gonna put the shade loving plants here. And this over here is gonna be a sun loving side. And I'll put the sun loving plants over here. This grotto is 20 feet times 25 feet for a total of 500 square feet. Thank you for joining us on this planting adventure and we'll see you next time. We're building here the sunken grotto, like you'd see in a zoo, or you see at Disney World or something. But this can also be a botanical garden. We're gonna have some of the rarest of the rare plants. So what I got here is I got the red ceiling wax palm. I got the stilt palm, the Verzafeltsia. Forget the name of this, Derek, it's um... Oh my God, I gotta look it up. Um... If you don't... Okay, hold on. If you don't know, my name is Deborah. Uh, and I'm Tom. Wait. I'm his wife. And we just like to show you a little bit of her. Oh, come on. I freaking hate and, uh, phones. Winter garden. You <sighs> I, the journey that we.
We'll get the phone with you.